Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So we are back and we're going to go ahead and make a smeltery system today, I think. Uh, so let's see, tinkers and smelt. There you go. So we got the smeltery stuff. So you got your blocks here. So you go one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Oh, actually, let's do the uh, six of them first. I mean, I know this is not enough, but we'll do the, the basic how I like doing it when I start. So uh, first we're going to... Here we go. I'll use a shovel. We'll do the... Uh, this is how I always build my uh, smeltery to start with. You don't have to, of course, but uh, I always like to do it in the... The three is kind of weird, the, the gap there. But uh, there you go. And then you can fill it around. Now, it's up to you how you want to do this. I might go for a smaller one. Let's build what we got first in uh, equipment, and then we'll go for that. So first thing you want to do is make a smeltery controller. And that's easy peasy, honestly. There's going to be another one that you're going to need to make, but you're going to need sand. You're going to need glass. Let's go ahead and get that done here. Then you're gonna need your little pouring out. You're gonna need, that was the smeltery controller. You're gonna need your uh, smeltery drain, which is pretty fancy these days, actually. Uh, you can actually do two faucets because of that. And then you're gonna want to make your table to pour stuff on. You're gonna make your basin to pour stuff in. Awesome. And then we're gonna need to get our piece of glass, which we surround, I'm pretty sure. Oh, at first it was like, it had a little delay there. I'm like, am I wrong? Am I an idiot? I mean, slightly. Uh, but anyways, we were kind of right, so that's awesome. So we're gonna put that there. Now, when you're placing down the controller, you can't put the controller here, you gotta go sideways. Just wanna let you know, this is the design I prefer to have, what you're seeing here, so keep that in mind. And then we can go ahead and fill some stuff in here, so uh let's see here uh i think we probably have enough to do some fun stuff here i guess so let's see here why did i oh what am i doing it's like this is taking more than i remember one two three and then one two three four well let's just do nine you probably have enough to do it all actually uh material wise i'm thinking i want it on the second level but i'm not sure if i had enough but I think we will. So we're gonna we'll build it like this, and then what I want to do is build it uh, like this. There you go. Oh, you gotta shift click if you want to put it on there, or click on the other block, etc. So it's not like it was a big deal. And then uh, we got uh, at least. Oh, uh, well, let's just do it like this. There you go. So we got one, two, three, and then yeah, we'll wait for a second on that. We might be. Uh, we probably have enough, but we just got to make sure we get everything right. So we're going to put this in here. And then what I was thinking is I'll put these on the end. So they go right here. So I need one more of those, which that's going to be a little costly. Because it, it requires a bit more than the, the normal amount. There you go. And then we just need one more block in the middle, which look at that. So in the end, we had enough here uh, to make it perfect. And then you can waste your materials on whatever you want. Since I got the, the two stuff, I'll probably leave these alone. Uh, you can put these on the side, though. I want to let you know. Let's sleep so we don't get the world after us. There you go. You can uh, go ahead and put one, this here and here and use the sides to do it. But since I have just... Uh, I'm going to do two for now anyways. I'll just do it here. But it just means I can uh, grow this over time with the faucet. So... There you go. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think this is working. Uh, yeah, you usually can tell it's working by the, the flame animation, even though there's no uh, lava in it. And so now we're going to need some lava. Now, getting lava isn't going to be too hard. We can go down underground. I think I've hit like a lava lake or two already, uh, if, if nothing too special, small ones. But I think I might go ahead and try another w method. I think I'm going to go to a mining world. So um, I'm thinking of her name, Aroma. Aroma, or maybe it's a he, sorry. Uh, I, I'm really bad on, you know, it, it's in this day and age, you're not supposed to just guess somebody's gender anyways. It's considered rude, right? So uh, I do apologize. It's just, uh, I, I'll say Aroma anyways, instead of, you know, genderizing them. But uh, Aroma uh, has... Um, created a, a dimension a mining dimension you can go to so you can go there and mine all the fun stuff so that's what we're going to go to today and let's see here so we need a piece of flint for sure 
we need a piece of iron. I think I have a single piece of iron. <laughs> there you go. And you're going to make your flint and steel. And it's, this is like kind of like lighting a nether portal in a sense, if you really want to know. And then uh, there we go. And then we're going to need uh, two of these guys. So I think all their stuff is based on doing something like this. So you can make your stone bricks like that. And then we go ahead and make the mining tool. And then these guys basically are like, are just like sort of this style. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just since you can do that many without worrying about it. If it was obsidian, I might just do 10 for the minimum. Actually, I wonder if you can go even smaller with these portals. Actually, I don't know. I might try it for fun. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, let's, let's have some fun here. Ah. Can't even fall in the damn hole. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna have some fun just for a second here. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a portal that's. I I can't. I I can see it being possible, but I really don't know. We're gonna just have fun anyways and see if it's possible. There you go. So that's the smallest you can make, I assume, just because you probably actually I might be lying. Maybe it's. Uh, aroma, they don't have the texture showing there. I might be lying. You might be actually able to make it smaller. I'm having a, a I assume the developer did not make the, uh, the texture and stuff for it, so it probably won't work this way, but if they did, this might be actually the smallest size you can make where you j jump in, but, uh, oh, but you shift into it. So actually, no, this could work possibly. No, it looks like it's not going to work or wait, you're supposed to do it in there. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> See, I never thought of that till now. How many people make uh, floor-based uh, things? Because this one, you have to shift to go to the other place. You don't have to uh, do it the you know like the more painful method of uh, just walking through and it happening. That makes no sense because it's less painful. But we're gonna go with that. So let's look up tanks here, my friends. Um, I think there's a thermal something expansion tank. Yeah, these tended to be easier back in the day. Ooh, they're a little more expensive. Ooh, 20,000. Oh, this is clear glass. I almost said a whole other word that was very inappropriate. And it just, it, no, it's just regular glass, copper. This is the most expensive part of it is, so copper and a piece of iron. I guess we could do that. So one copper and let's see, some iron. And, uh, cause I know I'm gonna need piece of iron later on actually i'm gonna need more let's just see what it can do with iron in the end here we'll just oh you son of a it's, there must be a mod in here unless mojane fix it themselves because that used to let it like always work there you go i was just thinking like that and we'll let it do its thing okay so we're gonna try this out let's get some redstone there was probably some glyce related to it and, uh, yeah, okay. We got a piece of iron. I'm going to need some iron for something else uh, later, so there you go, and there you go. And if this is the same as what it was before, you can break this and get the contents back, uh, like, within it. So here's a bucket. And let's grab this. So there you go. You got this weird stuff in here. And... Uh, Oddly enough, it breaks faster with this tool. But you can see the contents in it anyway. So there you go. We can go ahead, go like that. Awesome. So, yeah, weird enough, it breaks faster with the Tinker's tool. I didn't think it could mine faster, though, but uh, you never know with these mods sometimes. It's like, eh. Okay, so we got that ready, and we got some iron going. So I'm going to go to another mod here, and it's going to be called Hooked. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. Uh, so you want to do at hooked, by the way, for the mod names. And so they have a wooden hook and they have an iron hook. So I was thinking we might look into the iron one. Requires quite a bit of iron. So uh, I might not do that right away. Um, but I think you guys will enjoy that. So actually, since it does actually require a bit more iron than I expected, we'll wait on that. And we'll get our smelter running before we uh, use it just so we can dupe it. So this is going to lag. Um, I don't know if this will work because I've never tried this before. But... Uh, 
I have a feeling it should work fine. It's just, it's probably re, like, it's not pre generating, it's generating the world. Just imagine that first time logging into Minecraft where it lags so much and it's loading the world and stuff. That's what it's doing now. So it also has a caves mod on here. Everyone has this caves mod in their overworld, uh, or at least at the time of recording, but I didn't like the caves, so I didn't generate my world with these caves. I just want to let you know. Oh. It's sure not doing so well when you hear noise like that. I probably suffocated for a second, but like it just kind of doesn't make you interesting. It's probably because I held it down too long. So let's try it again. See if it brings me over there. Because if you hold shift down and I was holding shift and say this world for a second, even for a split second, it would have sent me back, right? Here we go. So here's this world. I was it's using that cave system. So this is a perfect example why I did not include this into the normal overworld generation. Because look at all this like half block stuff. A horrible, horrible, perfect example of why I hate it. Um, honestly, it was just going to drive me insane. So uh, that was the reason I didn't want to include this. Now, being at level 80, 80 plus, wow, and we're still underground. Well, we can get back here. So uh, the idea, we, we want to get a torch here and uh, we'll fix our pick. But the idea of coming here was actually because this world has so much lava. So I was just hoping we can use that. But I think I might. Uh, I wonder if the portals link the same way or not. Hmm, this could be a bad idea. It could be a good idea. One, two, three, four. We'll bring new materials. But I have a feeling this is not a good idea. And we'll get our torches in. And we will fix our pick. Oh, it is already fixed anyways. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, unfortunately, since I'm not running like a little, you know, server for this, it kind of lags a bit. What you can usually do is if you're running, uh, you know, you can have your least your spawns uh, areas of the different worlds running at once. Kind of helps some performance, but not a big deal. So I'm going to see what happens. Uh when we break this and we put it on the surface and light it up. It might be the worst stupid idea ever, or it might work like nether portals and connect to the one in the overworld, which I'm hoping, but I have a feeling it's not going to be the same and I'm probably going to be crying here in a few minutes, but we'll find out, won't we? So be careful here because the surface is riddled with lakes and lava. I'm sure you don't care if you got lava on your ass, but, uh, uh, or sorry, lava on your ass. Sorry, I'm, sh I'm sure you won't care if you hit water, but lava on the other hand, not so good. And I mean, let's just say you made like an under post, uh, underground base and then hit the, the water. That would be probably crappy too. So I'm just doing my duty to let you know that the surface is not going to be so nice, probably. You can actually hear it above us as we speak. So so you can see the, the drips already. Oh, no. That looks like lava. Oh, crap. I did not put... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So we got to keep going until we don't hear it, I guess, above us. It's so frequent, by the way. Don't be like, oh, I'm going to do it till I never hear it. Because you're going you're gonna to never make it to the surface, probably, then. Okay, so... Oh, we hit the surface. Okay, so it actually looks like we'd be better off going over here and working our way to the surface, like, right here, it seems. There we go. Crazy, huh? There you go. <laughs> so we came I can't tell you exactly there's a forest on oh there well there was a tree on fire uh, we came from somewhere around here right so we can just put this in here and be like okay so one two three four and hopefully this will take us back to where we were but before we do that let's just fill this up so we're not wasting too much time and so this world has no creatures as you see 
Um, I don't even think it has passive creatures in it, so that's kind of a good thing too. Um, a little less laggy for servers. It has day and night cycles though, so you can't use this as your infinite solar world. And now, I don't know if it was... Somebody said it was the author who did it themselves, so I don't know if they were joking or trolling or not. But they riddled the surface to make it pretty gross looking. That being said, you can still find other things here, like, um, for example, your applied energistics... Uh, Meteors will only be dropping in this world. They won't be dropping in the overworld for ugly reasons, uh, but they will drop in this world. So this is where you go for that. And um, there is these things all over the place. I mean, they're in every world, period. But uh, actually, you know what? Let's sleep here. Oh, wait. There's no creatures. You don't have to worry. I think mob spawners might work, but I'm not sure. Actually, I don't even think that had an effect. Uh, so one of these sides, is it like this side, I think, right here? One of these sides, aha, here it is, has a chest. So there's this weird thing, diamonds, some iron, gold ingots, awesome. And I noticed this tree right here. This tree here is goody uh, land, but it might spawn a spider. Yep, it spawns the spider. Woo! Oh man, I always suck at it hitting these spiders. Even today, I suck at them. After all these years. Okay, let's break a spawner. There you go. This is a Thomcraft chest, basically. It's uh, Christmas Day. Element Mastery. Holy crap. They made that sound like that was a, a, a big deal, to be honest. Holy crap, look at all the uh, advancements now here. That's so cool. So I'd like to work on some of those advancements over time just for fun, but we won't go through them. We're not settled yet for that kind of stuff, but that's really cool. So let's go back, and uh, before we settle in, well, if I'm in the same spot, I'm going to attempt to go through it again and see if we'll... We're connected. If we're not in our base now, we're probably more than likely not connected, but ooh, we are there. Okay, so this is good news probably then. It will probably have connected us then. Let's just see if it did. So it seems to be using the nether portal rules. Awesome. Uh, except you probably will have less issues with this than the nether portals because nether portals, you have to remember the nether is divided by eight. So, you know, 800 blocks in the overworld between two portals is only 100 blocks in the nether. So you had a lot of issues where your portal connected to your neighbor's portal. But unless your neighbor is just like at that tree over there, more than likely you won't have that issue uh, with these portals. So that's pretty cool. So let's check our inventory before we go. Uh, or not go, but continue. So this is your broken spawner, of course. So there you go. Uh, you got your uh, actual additions, the spawner shard, something for that stuff. You got crap here. You got copper ingot, redstone, some bone wheat, a name tag to name your like pets or whatever. You can even name monsters, by the way, with it. Gold, uh, and it prevents them from despawning. Rotten flesh, uh, golden uh, horse armor, magic crystal. That's that's just like the ore stuff. Uh, nuke virus, pneumatic craft. It, it's I think it's got like used in the security station. Prove the chances of hacking it. I've never looked into that. I just remember we used to get lots of them. Iridium shards. That's IC two, uh, but iridium can be used for oh what's that other one? Refine. No, damn I can't think of it right now. It's on the top of my head. Um, Tech reborn I believe. Yes, that's probably what's on my the top of my head. I think that iridium could be used in there as well. Uh, Wand of the Shadows, uh, current spell empty slot. I've never used this ever. Um, we don't have a spell, I don't think, either. I think the spell is the Electric Bob's Wizardry. Probably the same spells, like, it's probably related to that guy in the tower that we pissed off. So uh, we might get a spell. Oh, well, here's a spell book right here. I don't know what happens when we look at this. Let's see. Hello. Oh, Apprentice. Element cost. I don't think this is a spell. I think this is a spell book, so... It doesn't look like this will probably work, but I don't know anything about the mod for right now, so meh. This is, oh, Electro Bob Wizardry, Fire Bomb and Poison Bomb. Oh, they're just bombs. I'm assuming they just do damage. Uh, and this is just crap, basically, from Ender.io. And then, of course, that leaves us to our nice big portable tank here, which we can take our lava and we can put it in here and our job is done and now we can smelt my friends smelt away
Okay, so first off, I wanted some iron. So do this in nines, I recommend. This is one of the reasons I did this, uh, this style. I always do it three by three because it's nines. And this means if I shift click in here, I got 18 of them in there, right? Because there's two rows, fills it up. Like legitimately each, each block space in there is an actual one of these. And so the reason for this is when I pour it, it will be four uh, blocks worth in the basin. That's my sump pump again. It goes off probably like 10 times a day, by the way. It's it's so common. Um, actually, probably even more than that. It's just I, uh, I record and have my little studio in the basement. Anyways, uh, so yeah, those will smelt down and uh, they should duplicate as long as... You know, this is the default of everything. We can go and check here, I guess, while it's doing its thing. I don't know if we'll get there. There's six freaking pages. Holy crap. Oh, there you go. Smelting. Yep, two ingots. They say ingots now. Ugh, four blocks. I miss the old days. I think you can hold shift, though. There you go. Five buckets. That's even worse. And there you go. So you just pour it in your basin, and you got victory. Okay, so now I want to look into Tinker's tools. So you need to make um, an alloy plate. What's the plates called? Let's type in Tinker's plate, I think. There you go. Casting. Oh, cast. Sorry. So you can make cast. You can make it out of pure gold or molten brass or molten aluminum. Uh, so most people tend to use the molten um, aluminum brass. Uh, but molten brass, what is that one made out of? I'm just kind of curious, to be honest. That's made out of zinc. Okay, so we probably don't have zinc. You could probably make zinc somehow, but uh, we're going to use molten aluminum brass because that works with aluminum and copper, I believe. So we're going to go to alloy, alloying, and you see a molten aluminum. It says three mega, uh, mega bucks, uh, MB, and one MB, little buckets. So this is actually a simple recipe. Don't look at it. Uh, don't look at the MB in any way. Just see that one copper and three aluminum will give you four uh, molten, or sorry, four aluminum brass. So basically, three and one. So it's a simple recipe. So you can say, okay, well here's one copper or three copper. I'm doing there, but there's, you know, I'm just saying one. And here's three, three, sorry, and three like that. And then you can fill this in here. And woo. And aluminum goes really fast. It melts fast because Tinkers kind of uses some real life uh, methods for fun. So like the idea is in real life, aluminum melts faster. Now I'm going to probably make some bronze uh, Tinker stuff. So let's go Tinkers and let's go pick axe for fun. And then let's go bronze. So if you look at bronze pickaxe head, uh, bronze. Oh, what happened there? Bronze. Why are you all saying bronze? You are a horrible game. They all say bronze. Why? Oh my god. Or dictionary names bronze? Uh, there's something you can do to prevent this, but I don't know what it is. Ah. There's search options uh, or dictionary name requires prefix. There you go. Bronze. Ah, there you go. Um, so I'll put that in as a bug if I can remember. Uh, okay. So anyway, so we search for bronze and you can see the pickaxe head here. So 430 durability, 6.8, 3.5. I'm not going to remember all this, but now do... Oh, you can do bronze. Watch this bronze. And then... Can you do commas in here? I thought you could, but I don't think you can. There there might be... Uh, I don't know. No, I don't... I, there's more you can do. I just don't know them anyways. Or iron uh, pickhead. So here you go. You got the iron one. And it gives you magnetic, which is kind of cool, but it's not really useful. It's, it doesn't offer as much of uh, a good... Uh, utility out of it so it gives you an idea now i don't know if we go ahead and take iron just to see in here i don't know if it'll tell us some information about it i know you can't craft with it um but i'm not sure if it would tell you oh okay here you go so iron here you go 
it's the extras, the handle, so modifier and durability. So you can go here and then look at, say, bronze handle, and you can kind of compare it to that. Actually, rod, sorry, not handle, rod. There you go. It is a handle, but it, it calls it that. So you can see it has a 1.1 modifier versus 8 point, or 0.85, and it has 70 durability. Honestly, from my experience, bronze everything is way better. So... Uh, we're, we're just learning how to make a decent pickaxe, basically. So uh, we're going to do that anyway. So here's your aluminum brass anyways. And uh, we're going to use that to make casts. And to make casts, basically, we're going to do what we did originally to make our cobblestone tools. So we're going to go ahead and get cobblestone. And we're going to go through all the patterns here again. Now, I think I threw all my patterns in here originally. There you go. And uh, is this a byproduct? I guess this was a byproduct. Some things have byproducts. So here you go. You got this guy, you got this guy, and then you got this guy. Here you go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to throw this onto the casting table. And you're going to pour aluminum brass on top of it. There you go. And we'll do it again. Excellent. And one more time. And then we're going to switch this back to iron temporarily and keep pouring this out. And then we're going to do the bronze. So it's a one-to-one -one recipe as or as far as I know. I'm, not, I'm going to pretend it's exactly like it was always. Um, so I'm going to probably do... I'll probably do it in a nine. I know that's wasting it, but then we have it too because you're going to want it for repairing and stuff like that anyway. So we got nine copper and you're going to want... Uh, Nine tin. Ooh, actually, tin might be a problem. Wait, can you make osmium tools? See, this is when you have to. Oh, who would have thought of osmium here? Osmium might be better in some way. So, five hundred durability and six speed. 400 but 6.8 but it has extra durability uh let's see what a total pickaxe is 631 6.8 631 6.8 yeah i forgot osmium's in here osmium kind of ruins things uh so it's a little slower but a little bit more and osmium i'm not going to use osmium for a long time it's actually cheaper so actually, we're not doing bronze. I'm sorry, my friends. I I kind of I know I'm tricking you guys here, but it kind of that kind of that mod m messes it a bit. So uh, I've decided to change my mind. Don't yell at me. Uh, oh, did I leave it in the chest? Sometimes they sort it in the chest because it's such a big chest. I'm like okay, here it is, and then I don't put it in my actual inventory. Okay, there we go. Osmium. And there we go. And now uh, let's go ahead and make that uh, hooked while we're waiting for that. So we're going to go hooked here and we're going to make this version of it. So we're going to need some sticks. You're going to need some other stuff, I'm assuming. But let's start with an, a, a plain pick here. Here we go. Get our iron. And uh, here we go. So we're going to make you. So you got a, a regular pick here. We're going to make these chains, which you got to make those chains. So you got to make three of those. I think you had that, I think. Yes, yeah, so I think we've done the right amount. And there you go. So this is a mod called Hooked. And uh, I forgot I had the broken or almost broken one. Uh, and basically, it's a bobble uh, tool but uh, you can use. And it probably goes in any slot. It really doesn't matter at this point. Now you have a hotkey. Your hotkey is C, but basically there you go. It just it helps you get up. And I I don't know. Oh, just space I guess. So it has a basic rud rudimentary use. And then you hit space. So you could go like this, and you can kind of swing around. Um, there's faster ones of course later on. So uh, the faster ones will help you quite a bit. Um, right now I'm going to take a lot of damage. You might want to like use slime bo boots or something like that eventually because you're going to you're gonna probably take a lot of damage. But what's cool about this one is you can go like this. I uh, don't know if it'll even you out in the middle. It looks like it does. So you can kind of be in the middle floating. Now it only has I think two. Yeah it has just two of them. So there you go. 
so you could kind of work your way down actually like this without taking damage so you can go down and then down there you go <laughs> so it's called hooked uh, just keep in mind that if it doesn't work you're gonna probably have to go here click key hit C and then scroll through and just click on anything that says C and hit escape and then uh, of course you want fire hook to BC or whatever key you want but uh, and then you'll have that so okay so let's go ahead and pour our osmium yeah, I completely forgot Osmium is better. Like, I was going to make bronze tools. Bronze, if you don't have Osmium, you're probably better off uh, with uh, bronze tools. They're kind of like your first decent iron tools. Or mix it. Some people will mix it because iron gives you the ability of magnetic. And bronze still does give you the hardening ability. I'm not quite sure. Oh, crap. I made a mistake there. That's fine. You could probably even use it for repair or you can melt it back in. It doesn't matter. Uh, I meant to use the head, didn't I? Uh, I was going to say, though, uh, I don't know what Osmium gives. It gives you dense and well-established. Actually, I think well-established is EXP, but I can't... I'm not 100% sure on that one. So somebody else will probably chime in in the description, maybe. and Or not description, in the comments. Okay, so we got uh, this, so we're going to upgrade this. So basically, you just start throwing these in. And they'll upgrade. You can do all of them. And there you go. So it's got diamond level mining, almost 700 durability, speed is 6, 6.8 uh, thing. The the mining speed was 4 on this. So this is a heck of an upgrade. And this means, and it's dense, right? Like it's got uh, dense and well established. And I think actually this tells you what the descriptions do. So dense, your tool lasts longer when it has less durability. Awesome. Uh, you gain additional XP, even more awesome. So you get more EXP while mining, and you got all that. So there you guys have it. You got the Osmium pick. You got uh, you know all the uh, other stuff we've done today, which is awesome. It's been an awesome episode, honestly. I think we've we've done better than I expected here. And uh, you can make yourself a shovel the same method. So I'll probably off camera make myself a shovel, maybe make myself a weapon, things like that. Uh, stuff that you guys don't want to, you know, see. It's simple, you know. It's just going through all the patterns. And then in the next episode, well, we'll see what's up for the next episode. I, I haven't planned, you know. I like this. I kind of, you know, it's kind of like a surprise each episode what I'm going to do. You can see I've gotten lots and lots of wood from this. So this is, this is incredible. This is really awesome. These have worked out better than I thought. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>